very good morning children welcome to the online education of class 6 science so dear students in the previous class i have started the lesson body movements in that we have completed in the previous class about the movement of muscles so muscles always work in pairs so contraction contraction and relaxation of muscles help for the movement of different organs of our body by pulling the bone so muscles remember muscles always can pull the bone but not push the bones so thus the muscles have to work in pairs to move any bone for the movement of different organs so are all muscles or all the animals have the muscles and bones for the movement so only the movement is possible only when muscles and bones are present so this is the question that we can think ourselves okay so so there are some animals which can move without the bones okay so only the bones are not necessary for some animals so how do other animals move so for that so here are some examples so the animals like a snail and earthworm how do they move so do they have bones and muscles for the movement of their body yes let us study the manner the movement of some animals that we call it as gait of animals so in the under in the under the heading of gait of animals today let us study about the concept the movement in the earthworm so look at the figure 8.17 here you can look at the the movement of earthworm here so observe any earthworm moving on the soil or in a garden okay just gently lift it in your hand and put it on a piece of filter paper or a uh, any blotting paper observe its movement okay so again take the same uh earthworm and keep it on any glass plate or any slippery surface okay glass surface or any slippery surface now again observe its movement so after that you compare the movement of earthworm on a slippery surface or a glass and also on the filter paper so do you find in which of the two cases the earthworm is able to move very easily whether it is on a slippery surface or it on a hard substance filter paper or any paper so so the earthworm the body of earthworm is made up of many kinds of rings which are joined together end to end okay so earthworm body if you observe carefully its body is made of, made up of what the uh, kinds of rings which are joined together end to end okay it's made up of many rings which are joined together end to end okay so an earthworm does not have any bones there are no bones at all a single bone is also pre not present in the earthworm so it can move only with the help of their muscles present in it okay so it has muscles which help to extend and shorten the body so the muscles present in the earthworm help to extend and shorten its body during the moment okay extension and shortening of the process takes place of its body for the moment so during the moment what does the earthworm does is the earthworm first extends its front part front portion okay so during the moment the earthworm first extends the front part of the body and later on uh, front part of the body is going to be extended and the rear part and means back part of its body is fixed to the ground it does not move at all the back part or the rear part is fixed to the ground whereas the front part is going to be moved extended okay so later on after some time the then it fixes the front part fixed to the ground and moves the releases the rear part or back part back part is going to be moved now okay so in this manner it is it shortens the body and pulls the rear end forward it shortens the body in this manner it shortens the body and pulls the rear part means back part of the body forward forward by pulling from back part it is it pulls forward so that the movement of the body takes place so this makes the makes it to move forward by a small distance like that by small distance it can move for contraction and pulling so this makes the body of the earthworm to move by a small distance okay so repeating such movements muscle expansions and contractions so this uh, muscle extend extend uh, no uh, expansions and contractions repeatedly takes place hence there is a small distance movement by a small distance takes place and hence the earthworm is going to move from one distance to another place so the earthworm can move through the soil very faster 
in the sense it is very much uh, no comfortable for it to move in the soil because the body of the earthworm secret secretes a slippery substance a slimy substance okay which help for the movement you might have observed during you know any earth surface if you look at it while walking just if you observe carefully so when the earthworm is moving it re- releases some, one kind of slippery substance which help it for the movement so how does it fixes its body on the earth or on the ground it's very simple so under its body if you turn and look at here it has a small uh, number of many number of bristles we call it as a uh, hair like structures okay so th- these bristles are projected out you can see them clearly like it's like a uh, legs okay so there it has uh, bristles on the lower part of its body so which uh, which are attached to its muscles so these uh, bristles help to get uh, good grip on the ground so it helps to grip get good grip on the soil or on the ground so hence it is able to balance its body so earthworm what does it eat then so earthworms earthworm when it is moving on the way on the way to move so it eats the so moving through the way through the soil it eats the soil okay so it eats many you uh, know the soil and undigested part of the soil it is removed throws out of the its body so undigested part of the material that it eats is removed okay so this activity of an earthworm helps to make the soil very fertile so this uh, released when they said food what it eats so it's a fertile soil so that can be used for the crops in order to grow well so that we call it as natural manure so earthworm uh, using earthworm the farmers are going to grow very good kind of crops by using the earthworm uh, leaving the earthworm in that compost and that will be converted into useful manure so fertile manure so that will be used for the growing crude crops dear students i hope you understood the concept of movement of animals in the earthworm so let me continue with the next concept in tomorrow's class thank you and have a nice day